lot of different exchanges in the market and I'm sure you're familiar with some well-known ones such as Binance, Huobi and Bybit. In this video I'm going to take a look at the top performing exchanges and determine which of these exchanges have genuine users and which exchanges are trying to fabricate their traffic in order to attract genuine users. So if you're ready, let's delve into this investigation. Without further ado, let's get rolling. Let's begin with the leader, with the leading performer, Binance. According to similar web, Binance has 55, around 55 million monthly visitors. On average, each visitor spends around nine minutes on the website and bounce rate is 34%. So Binance is legit. I'm going to mark it on my list as a legitimate exchange with legitimate traffic. Coinbase, four minutes, 36 seconds, average visit duration. This exchange has legitimate traffic. Let's move on. Phoenix average visit duration is only one minute and 53 seconds bounce rate is high 61% so I wouldn't say that this traffic is completely fake but something is happening with Bitfinex it looks like there is not so much organic traffic and this section average visit duration and bounce rate indicate that there are a lot of visitors who do not want to spend time on Bitfinex maybe these are paid visitors or just random visitors who visited blog not sure Crypto.com has legitimate traffic, however, it looks like the company is experiencing a significant decrease in traffic and also we see that average visit duration is just 2 minutes and 27 seconds. An average user does not spend a lot of time on Crypto.com. Maybe people just check their portfolios and leave, but all I can say is um, it doesn't seem like people are extremely eager to spend a lot of time on crypto.com. Gate.io has legitimate visitors, but uh, we can see that average visit duration is just three minutes and 26 seconds. MEXC has really good traffic and people tend to spend a lot of time on this exchange, 10 minutes. It's a perfect result. Average visit duration is 10 minutes, great. KuCoin, perfect. It looks like Huobi is struggling with users these days. The website lost over half of all of its users, which is terrible. Something is definitely happening with Huobi. Average visit duration is 2 minutes and 49 seconds, which is kind of low. It looks like people don't really spend too much time on Huobi, or it could mean that Huobi is pumping its traffic and trying to inject paid visitors into the platform. WooX is increasingly growing. You can see that despite the fact there are not too many users, only 376,000 visitors, average visit duration is 7 minutes and 41 seconds. Certainly there is something unique about this participant. There is something exclusive about WooX. Good job. It's definitely a legitimate exchange. Gemini is doing okay. Average visit duration is 3 minutes 49 seconds. It's okay. It's people don't really spend too much time on Gemini, but maybe because a lot of people just want to check their balance or make a quick transfer. BitGet, average visit duration 5 minutes and 33 seconds, bounce rate is 33%, pages per visit 7.4, awesome. BitMart, it looks like BitMart has a lot of paid traffic, average visit duration is only 1 minute and 49 seconds. 
xt.com. It's interesting how some exchanges perform extremely well in certain countries. Like look at xt.com, it performs really well in Italy. Six minutes and 47 seconds, average visit duration. Bounce rate is 35%. It looks like this exchange is shining at this moment. Upbeat. Ooh, average visit duration 34 minutes. That looks like a lot. 8.8 .8 pages per visit. It seems like this exchange is extremely popular in Ukraine. Okay, maybe it is a mistake, but I see a lot of red flags. Average visit duration is 25 seconds. We see 21 million in monthly visitors, but average visit duration is only 25 seconds. 25 seconds. It doesn't seem like real traffic to me. I do have problems with these metrics. Deepcoin.com seems like a promising exchange. And weirdly enough, a lot of traffic comes from Italy. But hey, the exchange seems good to me. Let's move on. Okay, big one seems like another exchange that is buying traffic. Average visit duration is only 53 seconds. Page per visit, 10 pages. Like people spend five seconds on each page doesn't seem it doesn't look good to me so it doesn't seem like there is a lot of organic traffic on this exchange let's move on average visit duration is five minutes and one second bounce rate is 44 percent page per visit 6.2 this site is actually connected directly to similar web average visit duration of five minutes and 11 seconds, bounce rate 43%, so it looks like this traffic is legit. Poloniex is, is one of the oldest exchanges, but something is off with it. Now, bounce rate is 91%. Poloniex, the number of visitors, 295,000 visitors, average visit duration, 31 seconds. Um, bounce rate is way too high, 91%, so, Unfortunately, despite the fact that Polonix is one of the oldest exchanges, it looks like there is not much that this exchange can offer. Bitbank is an exchange popular in Japan. Average visit duration 7 minutes, bounce rate 32%. Good job. Bitso. It is not the biggest platform, but it has legitimate traffic. BitCup has 1.3 million visitors, average visit duration 2 minutes and 37 seconds, bounce rate is only 1%. It's a little bit strange, too good to be true. Maybe I'm not seeing something here, but it looks like a legitimate platform to me. The majority of traffic comes from Thailand, so it looks like this exchange targets specific audience, specific focus group. CoinX seems like a popular exchange in Iran and Russia. The average visit duration is 6 minutes and 25 seconds, bounce rate is 35%. Max by Coin has 381,000 monthly visitors. Average visit duration is 18 minutes and 22 seconds. The majority of visitors are located in Taiwan. So again, it's another exchange that targets a specific focus group, specific demographic group. I'm done with the top 30 exchanges. If you like this type of content, let me know. Leave your comments in the comment section. I might create something similar in the future. Maybe you want me to review Web3 applications or metaverses or DeFi protocols. Shoot your comments in the comment section and I'll do my best. Now, before I go, I want to tell you that there are always discrepancies. Despite the fact that I marked certain exchanges as legitimate exchanges and certain exchanges as those as the ones that have fake traffic there could be discrepancies first off online tools make mistakes and numbers could lie in certain cases 
I'm only a human and I could be wrong with my analysis. I'm only sharing my opinion here. If you enjoyed this video, show your sign of appreciation. You know what to do. I'm done for now. I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out. <laughs>